Well, as millions of kids head to class today, Denver is reanalyzing how to keep teachers and students safe following a school shooting on Wednesday. The 17 year old who wounded two administrators was on probation for a previous gun offense and was being pat down as part of a special security plan. He later took his own life. In response, late Thursday night, Denver schools will now bring back resource officers after banning them from campuses. Stephanie Haynes is with us now. She has more on the shooting and how schools are trying to maintain security as violence increases. Hey, good morning, Stephanie. Marky, good morning. In an emergency meeting last night, the Denver Public School Board voted to suspend a previous decision to ban school resource officers from their high schools. The mayor of Denver called it a mistake to remove these officers, and that original decision came back in 2020 uh, following intense scrutiny over law enforcement after the murder of George Floyd. And according to the website Ed Week, at least 50 school districts across the country either removed school security personnel or severely cut the budgets. And the website reports that at least eight have since reversed course since then. Now, in the case of Denver, investigators say the student suspect shot two administrators during a search he had to go through every day before going to class. Sources tell our affiliate in Denver that the student was expelled from another district and that at the time of this week's shooting, he was on prob probation for allegedly having a ghost gun. And last month, the student was shot in his car outside the same high school. His brother spoke out this week saying having an SRO, a, a school resource officer on campus, could have stopped it. Extremely, extremely late. It could have been avoided if, if there was a cop there, you know, to prevent anything like this from happening, or at least just scare the people that are committing crimes like these. I mean, it's, it's late. Here's one example in Maryland. There's one school district that returned SROs to campus. And although they have offices in the school buildings, they're tasked with mostly patrolling the outside of the campus. Marky. Yeah, just agonizing for that campus. Stephanie Haynes, thank you so much. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.